Kips Clips! Alright to YouTube, another one of Kips Clips. Um, so, um, I do want to touch on this again because, um, well, the reason it's came up is I'm basically just a wee comment. The Truth Seeking Elf, did you hear the excuse for an interview in Max and Richie Allen? What a joke. He wouldn't even let Max talk, so what is going on here? Well, that this Richie Allen guy, man, like, I, I don't even know who he was. The David Icke tag just, for me, puts him in the rubbish bin. Anybody who's associated with the guy who originated... This is why the guy can't even interview these people properly. Because Richie Allen and David Icke are the original pyramid scheme. Give us hundreds of thousands of pounds! And we'll continue to make YouTube-like videos and podcasts. Kind of like what we were doing before. We might buy better equipment, but we will do the same. Richie Allen, scum, fuck, um, gravy train motherfucker. Dirty train of dirt, I'm Richie Allen. What I do is I go and scare other people's fucking YouTube channels and I take their content and I use it for myself. Dirty train of dirt. Then I pretend I don't even have a fucking an opinion. I don't have an opinion like Dirty Tina Third, but I take everybody else's good content and turn it into like viewerships. And, but I don't have an opinion because I'm a journalist, like. So when I, <laughs> I know my accent's all over the place here, like. But I don't Dirty Tina Third. When I say Dirty Tina Third, I get back into it. But um, I, devil's advocate, right? Yeah, I don't know, man. See the amount of people that have came to me and said uh, Richie Allen is stealing your stuff. It's phenomenal. So fuck you, Richie Allen. Um, and let, let's listen. Broadcasting the information the mainstream media won't touch. Yes, well, why would the BBC talk about the like two pair of morons falling out in independent media? But anyway, touching on the, the stuff the mainstream media won't touch, brought to you by the guy that was on the BBC, or the guy that was a professional football player, guy that's paid his taxes and contributed to this filth of a system. Oh, but we all know Richie Allen plays his taxis as well. This is the Richie Allen Show in association with DavidIke.com. With David Ike's bum, with David Ike's willy up Mars. Let's uh, crack on with the program. Dirt to Tina Turd. Come on, let's crack on with the journalism and stuff, Richie Allen, because you're the num. I mean, what is he like? The 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 best hangout in the universe, and now he's the number one radio show. I've given you the, yeah, I've given you everything, right? I've given you everything. You've given me fuck all, Richie Allen. You've given me fuck all apart for a reason to hate you because people are telling me they're just stealing my shit. By the way, I do like to mention occasionally alternate... Kips Clips? At current radio, at alternate current... Oh, no, somebody that you're advertising and stuff here. Yes, dirty Tina Turd. Radio.com has a really good chat room. And the people in the chat room are listening to the live programs on ACR and are talking about them. So if you want a good Barney with somebody or a good debate with somebody, check out the chat room. Dirty Tina Tord. Who couldn't love that thick act Irish accent like that? Uh, there. And also... Lo Sitting there in Manchester with an Irish accent, Dirty Tina Tord. Like Fab Radio, it has a terrific schedule of brilliant programmes, completely untainted. Untainted, untainted, la Dirty Tina Tord, untainted. By the cesspit. Or the cesspool that is the mainstream media. Ah, but you are the mainstream media, you fucking dickhead, Richie Allen. You are the mirror image of the fucking mainstream media, Dirty Tina Turd. Because you're sitting up there and you're going, I don't swear. I don't, I get no hairs and graces. This is really, that isn't who these people really are. This is the radio version of them. This is the YouTube version of them. This is the TV version of them. This is the um, Max Egan version of them. This is their best version of them that they're presenting to the world. They ain't get the balls to rock up and go here. Ah, I, scra I scratch my... Uh, you know what? My shit stinks. You know what? My shit stinks. These people haven't because... They are trying to be make, become professional in a profession that they pr protest to hate. And they've done it. Cha-ching! Dirty Tina Turd and Richie Allen doesn't have an original thought in his fucking mind. And he doesn't... He, he, he even rocks up and goes, I may have... 
Who can't have an opinion on this, but I can't tell you my opinion because of journalistic reasons. What the fuck are you doing in truth media then, you fucking but? Yes, I'll tell you the truth. Just not my opinion. You fucking moron. Like, um, hold on. Do you know who he looks like, actually? And, um, I think I can see the family tree. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Beaker. Beaker Muppets. Shit. Alright, there. Don't look. Meep, meep. Be be beaker with glasses. Uh, and then that, that means that he falls in the, the the face of the David Cameron gibber jobs. Then he's got the fucking the pyramid scheme connoisseur fucking roar like a lion while you're giving me your money and sitting kumbaya on a fucking don't change nothing, just roar like a lion and give me your money. David Icke, the uh, pyramid scheme of, I'm going to reinvent the TV, give me lots of money and I'm going to do what I've done before, it's alright, it's alright, every cunt's going to get scammed out of their life, if you don't go nuts, and fall off the cliff and bust your nuts, you just give them all your money you see, and waste your fucking life, listening to this shit. <laughs> I fucking ran out of words. But that is what these people are. They are the merry-go-round of the truth media. Dr. Tina Turner, let's sit and talk about a discussion for free. Where are we going to do? What are we going to do? do, do, do. Oh, in the meantime, man, war, death, destruction, and nobody actually coming up with a solution. And there are solutions. You know, there's been solutions offered up in the past. Uh, I don't know one to point to, but people can't get their head round because it was a good thing, but it was a bad thing, and it was done by good people, by bad things. The Masons done the American Revolution. They wrote the American Constitution. Go and read that, man. It isn't where I would like to be. It isn't my ruby red slipper moment, but it's certainly a stop to the slip of the fucking shit where we're going right now. Uh, we are Richie Allen, we are David Icke, fucking, think about it. David Icke is a Jesuit motherfucker like Terry Wogan. Terry Wogan is a Jesuit. I'm not making this up, folks. Terry Wogan was fucking educated in a Jesuit fucking university. And then what the Terry Wogan show brings you a guy that tells you to believe in lizards? Are you for real? Think about it, man. Then this cunt rocks up. Dirt to Tina Turd, Richard and Nerds. I'm just going to brawl there, entertain them around. Number one fucking show in the rubber. Brought to you by David Icke. Brought to you by the fucking Jesuit. Brought to you to believe in fucking goblins and fucking ghoulins without taking you anywhere of any fucking significance. Fuck you, Richie Allen. And, uh, fucks Max Egan. And fuck, um, Ken O'Keefe as well. They are all keeping people in the merry-go-round of sit and say kumbaya and don't think how we can figure this out. I mean, I, I, I know, uh, fuck, do you know what? Uh, Fuck it. <laughs> I've said it before. I, I genuinely believe I've got the answer or a solution or a, or, or something that we don't need to pay money to. Just every election stand next to their box with our box and say, vote us, not them. The simplicity. It's almost as simplistic as the peace, pro uh, the peace movement of the 1960s. Love, not war. Who can't get behind that? Who can't get behind that? But let's kick out the mechanism of which they control us. The mechanism which they control us, and apart, apparently in the, democ uh, the democratic Western world, is by, we are governed and policed by consent. And then the, govern, the government controls the army, controls the police. So we're governed and policed by consent. Withdraw your consent. Not in my name. I am not voting in your box. I am have nothing more to do with you. Us, not them. Stop dividing it fucking round colours, creeds, ups, downs, countries, bullshit. Once we all snap out of this big mass delusion that's keeping us enslaved that we need to ask permission to be free. David Icke is keeping you there. They're all telling you and edging you towards... Look at David Icke. He's like Alex Jones, without saying he's political, he edges you towards political shit. They are shell motherfuckers just coining off, keeping people's brains in a circle. Sorry, I digress. But anyway, um, aye, Richie Allen, 
Thanks. Let's listen. So do check out ACR and Alternate Current Radio Hish and all the folks. Ah, there's that 27. There's the Alex Jones link. See that Matt Kennessy guy? He used to turn up an info horse. And yet the circle jerk is complete. The fucking Ike Jones, Richie Allen, all these circle jerk motherfuckers. If he's aren't seen through them, he's haven't got. A, I, I I think he can't see what's really going on. And I'm being polite. So if you want a good Barney with somebody or a good debate with somebody, check out the chat room. Dark uh, and dark. And also, like Fab Radio, it has a terrific schedule of brilliant programs, completely untainted by the cesspit or the cesspool that is the mainstream media. So do check out ACR and Alternate Current Radio. Hesh. Yes, it's just tainted with Alex Jones. And he's ilk and their people trying to sell you fucking um, pills and lotions and potions, if not survival knives and apocalyptic fucking memorabilia. And all the folks there. Now, the... And I don't know, man. Just call me fucking crazy, but I'm never... I don't entertain a turd. Would it be crazy to have an Irish man that was a fucking religious nut bar? Would it be crazy? Dirty to tune a third. I mean, it's not as if we haven't had Irish fucking... Well, you have fucking religious nut bars of every fucking creed and colour. Obviously, the story at the top of the news, the first uh, story, the, the lead story there uh, from FSN at the beginning of the programme was that an 80... Yes, we don't want to be the MSN, so let's fucking start something FSN. And then, again, uh, let's... Uh, I don't know. It all falls apart for me. Everything's, a lot of stuff is clicking into gear for me right now and, and I'm seeing through a lot of it and what they're doing from We Are Change to Press From Truth to Luke Radowski all these wee scum fucks circle jerk motherfuckers you can see them all Kev Baker has fell in he's been sucked in with the lure of the money the good money off the YouTubes with his user friendly content <laughs> Oh, uh, dancing to the tune of the people who are fucking controlling them. Um, like Richie Allen as well. Itchy Richie. So watch the watchers. Be sceptical about the sceptics. Never let your guard down, whether it be about fucking Jim's Mars. Go and listen to that. Go and look where these people are keeping you. Look down the right hand side. David Ike, Jim's Mars. Don't know who that dude is. Don't, see, I don't look, know who these freaks are. Carol Lentz, I know who he is. Dave, look, they're all characters. Characters? It's like a soap fucking opera. Look at them all. You've got your... Every demographic is... Almost every demographic is met there. Almost every demographic, isn't they? Look. Start to turn a third. They tried to get Kevin as being the Scottish man in the street where uh, he just sounds like he's getting a teeth and he's a wee junky looking bastard. That's why he's look look at him. He's he's never well to the best. Of, uh, here's some inside information. You know we're all about the truth here on what is it? Truth frequency. Here's some truth for you. Truth frequency. Well, Kev Faker, he's never been a junkie as far as I know. I don't know. He looks like one. Definitely, definitely looks like one. But now nah, back in the day, he just used to abuse a hell of a lot of class A's. And then when I knew him, he was just a wee bit of a weed junkie. You know? Oh, oh, man! Like, see when I called his bluff out for blocking me on Facebook because he was a wee jealous knob? Oh, man, I called his bluff out a beauty, man. He started going, he shot a brick, started going round and started calling me all sorts. Right? And then, even when I worked at that... Anyway, long story short, it's like, Hey man, sorry for saying those things, man. It's just because I didn't have a smoke and stuff. I mean, blaming not having weed for acting like a fucking wee scum fuck rat bastard that he is. But uh, I seen through it, man, and then just played the game. Played the game. What's the truth frequency? You know, what frequency of truth are you on? They are the shelves, all the wee scum fucks. Or the circle jerks. All the people that back each other up and share each other's stuff and sell each other's book. It's all materialising. Max Egan, they're all in it, man. They're all in it. Santos Bonacci. Even the people that aren't actually genuine shells from the start but have got sucked in and then they get sucked in and you're compromised. You're compromised because the people have the information on you wanting to know about the money, the bottom, bottom dollar, and you're fucked. You know what I mean? They touched base with me. 
and had to let me go because I was uncontrollable. And I'm fucking proud to say that. Thumbs it up, share it on Facebook. All comments will. <laughs>